Hi, welcome to my channel. This is a quick review of the new solid port lights. Unfortunately, at the time of purchase, there wasn't any review available for this product. Um, this is the reason why I decided to make um, this review. Um, quick disclaimer, this isn't a sponsored video. I purchased this product myself, so I have no reason to give a biased review. Most of us in the film business, in one way or the other, have had to deal with the expensive issue of recording high raw data into CFast cards. Um, to put this into perspective, I currently acquired the Canon C200, the video production ready model, not the C200B. This camera shoots in three formats MP4, XAVC, and RAW. Um, these formats are recorded into SD cards and CFast cards, respectively. If I want to maximize the full capability of this camera, I have to shoot in Canon RAW light, which is a 12 bit codec, a very huge codec. Um, a 256 GB CFast card costs anywhere from 225 to 350 euros, depending on the brand. And this 256 GB card approximately records 30 minutes uh, in both 25 and 50 frames per second. Since I operate a cinema camera, I'll be shooting long interviews for documentaries as well as short and feature films, so I need as much storage as possible. Let's assume I, I need one terabyte CFast card to record continuously for two hours. This costs approximately 790 to 950 euros. Again, depending on the brand of CFOS cards. Um, having checked the most reliable solution, I came across um, a North American tech company called NKI Store. Uh, I might be wrong, it might not be American, but I'm kind of sure it's American though, um, with production plants in Hong Kong. This pro um, they produce these CFOS to SSD solutions, which in my opinion is the lifesaver. Um, they have three models of this product, the solid port, the CFOS, 2.0 to M SATA SSD, the slim modular CFAS 2.0 to M SATA as well. So, and I think the last one is the newest one, which is the um, solid port light CFAS 2.0 to M.2 SATA SSD. So, if you notice the first two records to M SATA, but this last one, the newest model, records to M.2 SATA SSD. Um, they cost $239, $199, and um, $169 respectively. This review is about the latest model, which is the solid port light CFAS 2.0 to M.2 SATA SSD, which costs 169 US dollars. Um, this particular model is the latest in their lineup of CFAS 2 SSD solutions, and in my opinion, it is it is the best because it is slimmer, it is lighter, and it records to M.2 SSDs, which is cheaper, and um, it also has more single storage units compared to M SATA SSDs. I currently own two solid port light units, the newest one, and um, I have two terabytes of M.2 SATA SSDs installed in each unit. Um, this gives me approximately four hours of recording time on each unit, making a total of eight hours recording time. I do not think I need more than this for any project, considering I have four hours of recording time on each single unit. In case you're wondering, the total cost for this is 338 US dollars for both solid port lights and 454 euros for two pieces of Western Digital Blue M.2 SATA SSDs, although Western Digital Red is what's recommended by um, these uh, manufacturers, but I use blue and it works fine for me. Um, this means for approximately 792 euros, I get eight hours of raw 12-bit recording. If this isn't a bargain, please kindly suggest a cheaper and a more reliable alternative. Compared to a one terabyte CFAST card, which costs now around 50 euros, for two hours of raw recording time. When you order the solid port light, it comes with every tool you need for setup. This includes mounting brackets, some screws, and a screw tightener or untightener, which most of us have laying somewhere in our homes already. Um, this can be mounted on your cage, rail, or directly on your camera, which is. The design is so simple, nothing fancy and colorful like the solid port slim modular model, which is the second version. Um, I really do not have a negative review about this product, but um, to make installation easier, it would have been nicer if the SSDs can be inserted into the system, just like the solid port slim model, without having to unscrew the whole SSD unit. Um, but I guess the absence of this configuration is uh, why this model is this slim and light compared to these um, older models. And in case you're wondering, on my Canon C200, the CFAST door closes without any tension or stress because the cable that connects the CFAST card to the SSD unit isn't the slimmest of cables but isn't bulky to prevent this door from closing effortlessly. Um, guys, this was it for my review and if you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more reviews like this.